Hello everyone, R Factor 2 has just announced a brand new online experience powered by Race Control. So we're gonna fire it up, I'm gonna show you the UI and what all the functionalities are of this online experience. If you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more news like this, as well as race videos. Then, in order to actually update your R Factor 2, in order to be able to access the new online racing experience, you're gonna have to do the following. You wanna go to Steam, you right click on R Factor 2, you go to Properties, you go to Betas, and then here you have this drop down menu and you have to select Release Candidate. You click on that. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again. Once you do that, you will see it will download something quickly. Uh, and then you will see that R Factor 2 here will have this release candidate um, tag in brackets. If you see that, you're ready to go. Let's get into it. So once you open R Factor 2, click on the online tab and you will be brought to the RF2 online account creation screen. You will register with your first name and your last name, similarly to iRacing or Low Fuel Motorsports. Um, and similarly to those two platforms as well, you have to agree to the competition rules. So again, this is an online system which is promoting realistic racing. It's not an arcade type racing. It's not uh, punt everyone and get away with it like in normal online unregulated lobbies. This is a proper online sim racing experience, similar to iRacing or low field motorsports. You then agree to the privacy policy and finally you will be able to create your R Factor 2 online account. This is the UI of the new R Factor 2 online system. So you will get, by the way, the BMW M2 as a free DLC for doing this process. This is also the car which is currently being used for the daily races, which we will get into in a moment. But first, Let's look at what's at the top here. You've got your name, your uh, nationality, and also you can see your driver rating and your safety rating. Now, um, actually they're called driver rank and safety rank in this specific online environment. So they work the pretty much the exact same way as on iRacing. I don't think I need to explain that in detail. The difference though is that here it starts with bronze, and it goes up to platinum, so I don't think they are expressed in a number, but rather they're expressed by like overall ranking, which might be a good thing, actually. You might be incentivated to do races if you don't see a number going up or down for each and every race that you do. I think it works like that, I'm not 100% sure, but we will see. As you can see, if you click on your uh, profile, basically at the top, uh, it opens up the profile page. And uh, so I think there's multiple tiers of bronze and silver and so on, um, but no number anywhere. So I honestly think that's quite a good thing. Then going back to the main menu, as you can see, we've got uh, daily races on the left. So daily races will be refreshed weekly. There will be various categories. As you can see, uh, they're based on safety rank. So there's a beginner category, there's an intermediate category, and there's an advanced category. Each category requires a minimum amount of safety uh, rank. So intermediate requires silver, advanced requires gold. And you can basically join them, I think, regardless of your driver rating. In fact, the daily races, according to the article that the developers posted, which I linked in the description, have minimal effect on your driver rating. And right now you can actually race the uh, BMW M2 Cup in, uh, at Lime Rock Park. And as you can see, there's like 20 minutes left and there's 38 people registered. So... For the first day, the news literally came out two hours ago. I would say that's pretty nice. You can see the schedule here. You can see that uh, there's multiple types of events. There's Radical Rookies at NOLA Motorsports. There's uh, Open Wheel Sprint at Autodromo Mores and the BMW M2 Cup at Lime Rock Park. Beginner events are every hour. Intermediate events are every two hours. And advanced events are every three hours. So yeah, I think that's quite interesting. I presume that every week there will be different options 
of what those three beginner races or those two intermediate races or the one advanced races. Um, yeah, so that will be refreshed uh, weekly and uh, hopefully that will bring a lot of uh, variety uh, to this online experience. The next category of events in this online experience are special events here in the middle. So special events are weekly events with longer duration and also uh, which uh, provide greater driver rank rewards as opposed to the daily uh, events which have low impact on driver rank. So the way that it works here is that those events are either mimicking real world events, but also they feature basically events which are decided by the uh, admins and which are basically just fun events for the community. So now you can see that there's the beta launch party. And by the way, when you click on an event, as you will see now, and by the way, it looks exactly the same in the daily races as well. It opens up this UI, you, you have the title, you have the duration and uh, several uh, uh, bits of information about the event. So the length of practice, qualifying and the race. It looks quite neat and then also if you need to buy any content for it basically you can just click on that and then finally there's the career ladder so the career ladder is not available now so i cannot click on it and actually show you but essentially this game mode is gonna provide a sense of progression from uh, starting in uh, junior ranks all the way up to the pro series, which I am not sure exactly what that is. And uh, these races will have a high impact on your uh, safety rank and your driver rank. So I feel like this is going to be the ranked mode of this online experience. I'm not exactly sure, but it sounds very interesting. It's probably the one that I would be interested in the most, to be honest. Finally, I wanted to show you a bit what an active event looks like. So for instance, uh, let's click on daily races, let's go to the BMW M2 Cup, and you can see here um, that it says rank impact, uh, driver rating very low, safety rating very low, average event duration 35 minutes, you can join a practice server by clicking on join practice, and then over here you can see a leaderboard of the fastest like official laps uh, done so far, and... Again, if we go back here, you can see the number of participants, their names and their uh, rankings and also the settings for the event. So basically uh, the damage multiplier, the type of qualifying, the type of setup uh, and so on. And that's it in a nutshell, guys. I hope you found this interesting. I will definitely be giving this a go, so stay tuned. And also, most importantly, let me know your thoughts about this. Let me know... Uh, if you think this has the potential to really compete with the likes of iRacing or low fuel motorsports, obviously the latter two are wonderful systems which are well established, especially iRacing. It's definitely here to stay. But do you think that this could become something that sim racers will go to uh, to race online? Uh, let's see. I think it definitely has potential it looks nice it probably will run smoothly as well we'll find out soon yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments ultimately without taking sides for me it's just nice to see that there are more options and uh, obviously more options and competition means that each system and each game and each service has to improve itself in order to stay relevant and uh, I assume that's what R Factor 2 is doing here. So I'm going to stay tuned to see how it develops. So without further ado, I hope you have a wonderful day. Once again, if you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.